<laughs> Whoa, he got Morning guys, it's been a busy couple of weeks. We've uh, been settling in, trying to get these organized. There's a lot to do when you move to a new country and a lot of things to take care of as far as, you know, setting up all sorts of things that you just sort of take for granted in where, in the country that you've come from. It's different than when you, you know, just there on holidays and things are easy and, and uh, you're just relaxing. Here it ends up having a lot to do. But today we're taking a special day out and we're gonna go to the Novosibirsk Zoo. Uh, we've been sort of the grandkids have been looking for it for a long time We want to take a, a special day out uh, Together as a family go to the zoo enjoy some fun time together and um, we Thought you'd like to come along with us We're about to head out and we'll grab our gear and go All right, well, we're in the car all ready to go We're gonna head off It'll be a lovely day together Well, we've arrived at the zoo and uh, it's a beautiful summer day it's actually pretty warm for those who think that you know Russia's only ever cold the temperature day is 32 degrees so in for your US friends that'd be around the 90s humidity is right up there in the 70s uh, so it's a it's a warmer day but uh, thankfully the the zoo has heaps of trees it's very parkland um, the zoo was actually built back in the 1940s. It was one of the first big zoos ever built in Russia. I think it's the second biggest zoo in Russia. I think the one in Moscow is bigger now, but for a long time it was the biggest zoo. And uh, it's actually built on 63 hectares or probably 150 acres of 
just natural Siberian forest. And obviously back in the 1940s, this part, the part of the city was uh, all just virgin forest. So it's, uh, it's beautiful to see. Obviously they've got some other trees that are planted, but you can actually walk through lots of areas, which are very typical Siberian forest here. So it's really nice. It's a beautiful day to be at the zoo. Really cute, all these ducks. So you can see the habitat uh, behind us, obviously because of the the winters we have here in Siberia. They have a special thing where they can come out and they can run in and out to the to the um, controlled habitat. We're on our way down to see the big cats, and uh, but this is part of that uh, natural Siberian forest. This is very, very typical Siberian forest, and uh, it, was the, it was just built into native forest when they first built it back in the 40s. So it's a very nice atmosphere on a, on a warm day like today. It's beautiful being in all the shade. Makes it very comfortable. It's quite hot in the sun, but uh, in the shade, very enjoyable. So this is the polar bear enclosure and you can see him over there in the corner. You can also see over there there's a, they have an ice maker that drops ice. There's a big bowl of ice to play with which is very nice and obviously if a polar bear on a day when the temperatures are like they are, he probably enjoys playing the ice. <laughs> <laughs> On the warm days, you walk through these misters, keep yourself cool. The deer are right back there in the corner. Maybe they'll come out a little bit later on.
enjoying a nice little break from one of these little rotundas, little pergola areas, and head uh, off and see the bears. I mentioned before that the when they first built this for they built the zoo in the middle of the forest that was one of their key goals was to do to leave the forest in as natural state as possible without you know creating a, a big upset and you can see as you walk around some of the paths it's just beautiful to walk through here it's just like walking through a an untouched forest Now these little fellows certainly got it sorted out. They're all just relaxing and enjoying the shade. Finding whatever spot they can to lie down and chill out. Как она называется? Их миллион. Kangaroos are right in the shade at the back of the cage. Some other Australians here at the zoo. These are actually uh, Eastern Grey, so they, they are native to the East Coast of Australia. We're originally from the West Coast of Australia. And we have the red kangaroo, which are actually much bigger than these. Uh, a full grown male will grow to six foot, and if he's up on his back legs, get closer to eight foot. And uh, Super impressive big animals, but these guys are just chilling in the shade. Yeah, they're rushing in the background. Mm -hmm. 
So the first time I came to the zoo was back in 2012 or 13, I think. Probably the second time I'd visited Russia. And we're over here doing some construction for a uh, some community centres, a bit of humanitarian work. And we just came to the zoo as a day out to spend some time, you know, relaxing. And uh, the, 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 the zoo's got a really sort of old school, cool feel about it. And a lot like when I was young and growing up, the, the, the zoos were a lot more like this. But uh, in the time that uh, it has progressed, they're really doing a lot of uh, revamping work and getting it uh, looking world class. It's the, the gardens are just immaculate at the moment and everything's just in full force. Everything looks really well kept and they're building all new enclosures all the time. Um, unfortunately, the bear enclosure is being uh, upgraded at this point in time. We're hoping that we might find them somewhere else and well, they might have moved them to another uh, another position somewhere in the zoo that we don't you know we can hopefully find and, and check them out because bears are right up there as far as my favorite animals um, comment down below what your favorite animals for me it's yeah bears are pretty high bears and dogs and those sorts of things but um, so yeah we were having a lovely day we we're just about to head out and um, not head out we're gonna find a nice spot to have lunch in the zoo find a, somewhere to just relax for a little while before we start on the second part. In this part of the zoo, they have a big collection of their uh, birds of prey. In the middle, they've got a, this big dome, metal dome cage. It's got some big vultures in it. And then they've got all sorts of different falcons and eagles and hawks and all the other cages around the outside. Oh, they weren't vultures, they were big eagles. Hopefully it comes out in case with the cage material. The iconic bald-headed eagle. So this is a completely new lake sort of section they built since we were here last. All new cafes and picnic area. Paths, beautiful, very nice. Well, Beautiful bush, beautiful flower. Beautiful daughter. Hello, little fella. Aren't you cute? Full of personality. Yeah.
Beautiful lush gardens here. The flowers smell beautiful. So all this is all new since I was here last two years ago. They bought a whole big reptile discovery center, the penguins, this new dolphin center they've got. It's all really nice. Very well done, very well built. An amazing job. If you are ever in Novus Abyss, come and see the zoo. It's a really good, uh, a really nice experience. One of the better zoos I've ever been to. So this is inside that building that I was showing you just a little while ago. We've got all monkeys here and Well, we hope you enjoyed today's video, our time spent at the zoo together. And uh, we certainly had a lovely time. It was warm, but uh, the, there was so much shade from being in the forest. It was just uh, really pleasant to walk around, really pleasant to uh, just spend a day out in enjoying the zoo. Anyway, if you enjoyed it, please uh, give us a big thumbs up and consider subscribing to the channel, leave a comment below, and we'll see you on the next one.